Madam Speaker, um, in honor of the upcoming 80th anniversary of D-Day, I rise to share the words of motor of mechanic mate, first class, Paul Hudson Atkins of Sheffield, Alabama, in Alabama's 4th Congressional District. He was one of the first wave of soldiers that had landed on Omaha Beach. On June the 6th, 1944, Mr. Atkins wrote the following letter from Omaha Beach, and I quote, the first batch of parachute boys are hit behind enemy lines somewhere between 0630 and 0930. Heavy gunfire going out on the horizon, mostly planes overhead headed for France. General Granted at 0500, destroyer ahead shot up three mines. Ships everywhere to the right and to the left and as far as can be seen, must be in the thousands of small boats out in the water. The water was exceptionally rough for small boats. We headed for the beach, four small boats out of 900. On LST, landing ship tank 511, pick up wounded. Battleships and destroyers flying over our heads. I could see floating bodies on the water some of the bodies dismembered, floating in life jackets. Small crafts sunk along the beaches, all sorts of obstacles in the water, out to about 500 yards. Only four of our small boats were dispatched to the beach, another one sent to Omaha Beach to assist. Madam Speaker, this letter that I just read serves as a powerful reminder of the harrowing scenes Allied forces were faced with and the, brave, that, and the bravery they exempted on D-Day, exemplified on D-Day. I want to thank my colleague, Congressman Moore of Alabama, for organizing this remembrance for those who fought so valiantly for our freedoms and for giving us the opportunity to continue to tell the stories of these great Americans. May God bless each of those soldiers, their families, and may God bless America, and I yield back.